Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is November 2nd, so it is a new month. Will we see a new month, new money type idea? Uh, we sure didn't see that overnight. Um, it could remain very choppy as far as grain markets over the next several weeks until we get some news or until we get closer to the USDA report uh, later on this month. Corn, though, overnight down two cents. Beans up about a penny and a half, penny and a quarter. Uh, and then uh, we've got wheat uh, down about four and a quarter cents. So relatively mixed. But there's talk now. You know, we, we had earlier that it was there was not enough rain in areas of Brazil, and then they were going to get the rain. Now there's chatter. Well, maybe they got too much rain. So we'll have to see what kind of reaction we get here once we get uh, once we get trading uh, after 8.30. But um, there's also chatter out there that beans may find some decent support now that the November contract is in deliveries. But also we've seen some good buying from the commercials as well. So uh, that may end up uh, keeping some support under the bean market, uh, at least for now as well. Uh, China continues to make purchases of beans. Uh, they've they bought another 120,000 beans this morning. Uh, that was reported out at 8 o'clock. Uh, another 20,000 uh, bean oil as well to unknown. So we've seen some good purchases being made. That continues right now. Uh, and we need to see that because of how behind we are as far as export sales. Corn, still range bound. Not a lot happening out of corn. Don't expect a lot out of corn as well. So continue to see this range being traded for now. Wheat did find some strength last week. Uh, we saw a decent close there for wheat as well. Do we have more room to the upside? Can we get some more technical buying that maybe push us above 530 in that December Chicago wheat? Uh, that's just the next area of resistance as well. But can we get that type of a move uh, here moving forward? Cattle, probably going to see maybe a lower start. Uh, mixed as far as box beef. Choice down 89, select up 52. But there's still talk right now that they're trying to work through some of this heavier cattle uh, that's out there. And we may take a few weeks yet to, in order to get through that. But cash cattle remained at 138 last week. Um, we didn't get any trade here later on. So we'll have to watch this week. Where do we finish? What does cash do? Cash is king right now. And that's what we need to keep an eye on. Uh, as far as hogs, probably a lower start there as well. Cutout values dropping 264. We continue to see that cash market break. Now there is such a discount right now from the actual cash index to the futures. And so not, uh, I'm not surprised that we're seeing this market break right now, but the charts still look depressing. They're ugly. Uh, we continue to break down below support levels. So nothing good to talk about right now as far as hogs to give us any reason of any support here uh, as of yet. So keep an eye on that. But give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you out. 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day out there and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.